That means I, I have to integrate this with respect to time. So that gives me P0, P0. And the integration with respect to time will give me 1 over omega and then minus. Right, integration of sine with respect to time would be 1 over omega minus cosine. And then I have k cosine omega t minus kx. Therefore, what I have is this go away and p0. And note that k equal to omega over c. And right, 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 okay, and omega is equal to kc, and here is low zero, I have to put, okay, minus So I have to put one over rho zero over here. So what I have is P zero rho zero C. Right? Right. And then I have cosine omega t minus kx. OK, that is velocity. Right? It's very interesting. The pressure divided by this velocity is rho zero c. Right? So driving point impedance is always rho zero c. That means the wave is propagating away from the point of excitation. What about the intensity? Okay. Let's look at intensity using the graph. Okay. Okay. This is the pressure. And this is the velocity. And the velocity is P0 over rho zero c. Therefore, driving point impedance is rho zero c. Same as the characteristic impedance. OK? And this is the pressure I observed at x equal 0. The at x equal 0 has to be P0 cosine omega t. OK? That is so P0 omega t. And the velocity at x equal 0 would be cosine omega t. Right? Therefore, driving point impedance is always rho zero c. And the intensity at x equal 0 is the multiplication of this. Give me this. So in the frequency of intensity is increased by 2 omega. OK? Right? So intense, the relation between intensity and pressure is a nonlinear relation. Nonlinear relation. Right? You cannot use a linear operator when you calculate nonlinear op nonlinear nonlinear things. For example, what you can normally have a mistake is you express pressure as in complex notation, P zero exponential J omega T minus K X. And you express velocity as the complex notation. And you just put these two complex notation to intensity P multiply I, P multiply velocity. That is wrong. Very careful you have to do. 
because the intensity is pressure multiplied velocity. And that is no longer linear with respect to pressure or with respect to velocity. I will go on that property later on. But now, we use this expression wisely. I didn't use this expression. And we calculate the velocity. So that is, that is OK. You see, if you calculate velocity using this expression, say, I differentiate this and so on, so on. And if you do the same thing over here, you will get somewhat different result. OK, that's the topic we will go on next lecture. So let's move on to what we have been focusing on. So that is the pressure and the velocity. And that is the fluctuating intensity. That is the intensity that I measure at x equal 0. What about the intensity at a certain point over here? Certain point over here. That intensity may look like, for example, if I measure intensity at x equal 2 over lambda, then Px at time t equal 0, that I put t equal 0 and t equal 0 and draw it, then it look like this. That is the pressure at time t equal 0 along, at, along x axis. OK? And when time is changing, that what happened? This will move up and down, right? And this will move up and down too. And this is the intensity along x-axis at time t equals 0. The intensity will go up and down too. OK? Right? And what about the mean intensity? If you look at the mean intensity, it has this value, non-zero value. In other words, the mean intensity means what, physically? The mean power, mean power transmitting to the medium at x equals 0. So there is a mean power that can put into the medium. In other words, I can really give the energy per unit time into the medium. OK? Also, the mean intensity along x-axis is not zero. That's very sensible, because suppose I have, a, I have piston over here, an infinite medium, and I push it back and forth, okay? I would not feel any reaction from the fluid, right? Because it's infinite, when I push the medium, propagate. Back, compression, expansion, and then compression, expansion, compression. Driving point impedance is rho zero C. As we observed over here at the stream. Okay, what about the pressure and intensity for finite dark on x equal L? Okay? The pressure would be P0 cosine m pi over L, L minus x cosine omega t. Why? First, I want to look at the pressure from x equal L to, to match the boundary condition over. Boundary condition over here is the pressure would be maximum on the wall, right? 